And despite a sharp drop in United Kingdom's headline inflation rates, key measures of price growth monitored uh, by the Bank of England failed to ease in July. According to the Office of the National Statistics uh, Office, an annual consumer price inflation rate cooled to 6.8% from 7.9% in the month of June, moving further away from October's peak of 11.1%. Core inflation, excluding energy and uh, uh, and food prices remained at 6.9 percent unchanged from June and higher than 6.8 percent expectations. Services inflation, which mostly reflects homegrown inflation pressure from wages, increases to 7.4 percent from 7.2 percent. The drop in high headline inflation rate are reflected falling energy prices and will be welcomed by British consumers who have faced higher inflation than in most other industrialized countries. And Asian stocks hit 11 weeks low as renewed concerns about U.S. interest rates slug Wall Street while investors still smarted for dull Chinese economic data and the absence of meaningful stimulus uh, MSCI's gauge of Asian Pacific stocks outside Japan was down 1.1%, touching its lowest since June 1st. Japan's nickel slipped 1.3% to its lowest since July 12th, while Australian S&P slash ASX 200 index fell nearly 1.5%. Hang Seng Index and Chinese benchmark CSR 300 Index opened 1.21% and 0.42% lower, respectively. All three major U.S. equities indexes ended lower after a stronger-than-expected report on U.S. retail sales data. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 1.02%, S&P 500 dropped 1.16%, Nasdaq Composite shared 1.14% in value.